everyone. Today I am adding pages and using a new content editor, but also our navigation. Uh, navigation menu, adding by category. So you can come right here to custom navigation. Let me move this little button up out of my way. So here, you can see here on the navigation, I have old resource. That is because those that page was built on the old page editor with those categories. So all of these are saying old. And here is, this is a, one of my branch sites. So we have, let me see if this, so that's an old one. But, so these are all old. Do I have any? No. So it's not even showing. Oh, wait, here's old resource. So I can have, once I create new pages, it'll actually show me new. So what I have to do is go and build. If I go and build a new page, so I can let me come over here to pages. And I here's all the different categories and stuff like that. But you'll see all this says resource. That's that tells me it was built on the old pages. So now if I go to build a new page, I always just kind of start from new, but you can go to all templates. You can start. But if you notice, um, like the about, well, that's a bad example. Let me go over like the buyer resource guide. So they do have templates that you can start with. You just have to kind of fill in the blanks. Chat GPT can help you a lot with these, but you can change the photo. I can come over to settings. I can, I can change all of this. For me, it's just easier to go ahead and just create a new page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show build a new page. I usually immediately go to advanced options. So maybe I want to do, um, you know, buyers, select a category. So you'll see my old categories are not here. I have to add a new category and my, I might already have, we'll see if it even lets me, what, what do I have over here? Buyer and seller. So sometimes it doesn't let me, so I just have buy, sell, and I hit enter. And now I have a new category. This is, and I do want to add this. So this is basically if you're team leader, brokerage, office site, do I want my agents to inherit this page? Yes. So now is when you want to go in, you want to add in your kind of SEO. So you have your description and keywords, and I have a spreadsheet that I use that I modify so I can copy paste and stuff like that. But I want to just get this page done now to create the page. You have rows. So I just usually add in a bunch just to get me started. I have noticed on the new pages, if I immediately add my title up here, it will actually almost go up into this top area. So I am using the spacer block for the first one to give me a little white area just for that beginning. And then I can go in. I know I'm going to add my title. I'm going to add my paragraph. I am not, I like certain fonts because I'm a nerd. Here's my default font. So whatever I want to be able to use, I can change it for the entire page for everything I'm doing. So that'll work there. So let me go ahead and copy and paste from a page I've already done on my other site. So as I'm building this out, I did my title. Now I just did my paragraph. I want it to be 16 for the font size. And I think it looks better when it's like one and a half spaced right there. I'm going to come over to rows. I know in this spot here, I want to be able to add links to our landing pages, our, our buyer guide, relocation guide. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I come over here to content. I can just drag and drop and add a button. And I don't need this, but it's not letting me. Let me open this up. Why isn't it letting me delete that? There we go. I don't need that. So buttons. So now I can come over here. And I can, okay, this is our, let's see, view, 
our relocation guide. And this is download buyer's guide. And maybe I don't want it this color. Maybe I want it to be a different color. So here, and I can change my font size and everything else. Let me go ahead and change that for both of these. And if you have your own color, you can, once you add a color, you can uh, change it. It'll stay in your saved here. But I come over to Canva. I want to grab our navy blue. Change that color. This I will change where it's going to link to. I still have to build those out and link it to within the new editor, which the landing pages are so much better doing it that way. So I'll just come back over here and let's see, what do I want in there is just a paragraph. Actually, I have a title. And you don't need to use the rows. You could just come over here and just drag and drop this if you wanted to. I just like to use the row option because if I use the row option, I could come over here and literally change the entire column. I could make, you know, this whole bar, you know, a different color if I wanted to. If As long as I'm using the rows, if I'm just using the blocks, these content blocks, I'm not able to change colors and do more fancy stuff. So to me, I just use the rows. It also makes it a lot easier to kind of drag and drop, maneuver, move things around if I wanted to, and all that fun stuff. So as you're building these, and here I have videos. Let me copy video. <clears throat> I like adding on the desktop, adding a little padding so it's not completely full width, but that's just me. And... Also, I, I mean, I'm going to tell you, ChatGPT, maneuvering things around, you know, for your SEO, for content, for ideas, for so many different things, it is pretty, pretty great. So, do, do, do. let me add my paragraph. And I could go on and on if you want. So here's like, here's another one and content. You could add a form, you could add your social, you could add so many things. So here I just added a form, select the form you want. So this I'm doing, um, you could have a lead form. So that way you can say, okay, so if they contact me, it's going to be a buyer. Are they going to a URL or are they just sending me a message? So this would be if you wanted to direct them somewhere, but the hashtag, this is something I would do for any page. What that way they're going to be labeled. You'll know what form they filled out on your page based on the hashtag that'll be labeled to that content uh, for the contact. So to me, that's, that's important. I want to know what form did they fill out? What do I need to make sure they're on the correct drip that I may have set up in my smart campaign? So there's a lot of cool things. And this is where I could change the color of this if I wanted to. So it's not exactly the same as everything else. Maybe I want that. I want um, to, to, to come over here. I can change the text. What do I want? You know, what do we want? See the list now? I don't have anything. So... Let's connect. Hit enter. That'll change that. Click on here again. This is going to change my text color so people can see that. Maybe I want, let's see, my background, my button color. Maybe I, I think I want that one to be my red. So let me come over here to my brand kit inside of Canva. Where'd it go? There we are. Oop. What did I change? 
Where's my buttons? Do, 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 do. Oh, there's my buttons. There we go. So add all these different content. Look and see all these cool things that you can do. The social, all that fun stuff. So maybe I want to add this there. Boom. It's going to automatically, let's see, come over here. I have to add in. So it's not pulling from our profiles that I see. Maybe my profiles aren't set up on the off on this branch site because it's a minimal page, but it's really just for my agents to inherit a design. So I'll come in here, add in all of our social and all that fun stuff. Got the link. What does the more options do? Uh, not much. I didn't know if I could change colors or not. So that would have been pretty cool. Let's see. Copy link. I want. I don't want you to. I don't want that. Do we have YouTube? Yes, we do. All right. Here's my YouTube link. All right. So hold on. Let me get the rest of this page started so we can finish this out. All right, so once we're done building out the page, you could always build onto it more and more. We have to click publish in order for this to become a live page. And then we can always go and view it. And here's what the page looks like. So I could edit it if I want to, at least now it's a live page, but it's nowhere on my website yet. So you would actually have to know the URL to be able to find it. And you'll notice your extensions are a little different. Uh, those URL tails before they had resources and now they say pages, which is, this is what normal, most websites actually do. So I have this so I can look at it live, make any edits as I want to, but it's not going to show up on my navigation bar until I add either that page or the category to my navigation. So I'm done with this. I have it published. We're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click that back arrow. Now I can come over to settings. And once I add all of my pages that I currently have under my buyer and seller, that's usually when I will go ahead and add this, but I want to be able to show you without uh, you come down here to custom navigation and you'll notice you get four. So you either can, can choose a single page or you can choose an entire category, which will create that drop down. So here I can have my page or my category. So as you add more content, you'll be able to see them all up here and all your old ones will be down there. So I want to go ahead and add my buy sell category. Now I I'm not going to delete this quite yet, but so let me go ahead and save this. I don't know that just constantly is popping up because we don't have those on our pages on our branch sites. But so let me go ahead and refresh. Now you see I have the buy sell and now I have buyers. So now as I build out my other pages, they'll be under this drop down. But just to show you're not losing your mind when you are coming over to your pages and building out your pages. Your old, the new page editor does not recognize your old categories. So they like can't be commingled. So I have pretty much built out, um, this is our main site. So I've already built out all of, you know, the thinking of buying. So this, you can see view our relocation buyer's guide videos, all of these, these are really cool. Uh, elements that we can now build out that we really couldn't do before. Same thing. And I noticed on your drop down before it did not matter what page you added at one point, it was always in alphabetical order. So if I added a new city to this, it would just fall in place in alphabetical order under the new editor. It's in order of me adding it. So that's, I haven't figured out a way I have to get with support, see if there's going to be a way for me to rearrange because I would want my mortgage calculator below all of this. So it's just something to think about as you're adding all of your different guides and pages and content and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps. 
so you know you're not losing your mind to add new content to the new website manager uh, and all that fun stuff. Thanks, guys.